Uh, we're about 30 yards away from it. And you see, you, you can see it. That is the Tiki Torch Manland style. Or excuse me, Manland approved. Approved. Officially approved. 30 yards away, you can still see the little light. But that's all you can see. And you have to know how cameras are at nighttime. Bones here, bones are. The handle in there. The bone jarred Batman bomb. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> the dollar short. Well, that was good. Yep, that's Bones Batman bomb. Put the cap on it goes out full of water. Well, the wick is very wet with water. Trial and error. This thing ought to be worth ten thousand dollars. Antique. Okay. Okay. About an hour after burning these homemade tiki torches using diesel and a a cotton wick, homemade. The uh, light was very dim, uh -oh. so what we're doing now, we're checking to see what the level of the, which the level is still fine of fuel. Uh, that's the one that was hard to get on, so that's going to be the one that's hard to get off. That top, uh, I think the plastic under there must have melted on the seal. No, that's the one that was hard to get on. It was something bent on it. Uh, I think the top was bent. Just pull the wick up a bit, a little bit. And which the wick's really too high in right now. That is what, that's, that's way too much. So yep. that should be a, a big flame for a little bit. Yep. Man laying out there with them homemade tiki torches. We got three of them going out there and he's coming back up with one. See it moving? A UFO, unidentified flying object. Well, he's gonna try a little diesel fuel in it in his original Hurricane Lantern. Hurricane Lantern he calls it. I call oh you did pour it in there? Yeah. So I got it working. What? Well, I'll be. I'm going to see if it sets it up. What? Do I have a that glove light? needs to be clean. Hit that light. Oh, yeah, that's, that's got... Now, why does that put out a lot of light? Just controlled flame that's got... Compared to the Batman. Ball. The Batman is covered up good. Bones here out in Bone Yard. Three and a half hours later of the homemade tiki torch, remodified, Manland approved, but Bones has remodified it and it is dark and I see some problems. <laughs> I'm going to have to reshoot this tomorrow so y'all can see. This here diesel burning homemade tiki torch out of a beer can uh, has got a, I, I, I built a top and put on it with another beer can cut out to give it a heat source to draw the diesel up to the wick like the Batman bomb. And three and a half hours and it's still going strong but in uh, let's see I'm gonna hit I'm gonna stop it right here okay there we go no that's smut I thought that was the the tin can that that uh, had it melted or something but that is smut 
Wow. <laughs> wow. Unbelievable. Smut build up. Let's go down here and check these other ones. All right, here we go. Here's the light. This is my first one. Got small holes in it. And it has been burning for about four and five, about five hours. And it has got smut build up on it. Not much, but enough that I can knock it off. And this side here. These are very small holes I made in it to keep the wind from blowing the fire out. But it doesn't produce that much light. And I got a nothing over here. It's been on for about two hours. And the smut build up. That's just crazy. <laughs> Wow, you get a better, better angle of the smut as I knock it off. Smut buildup, wow, Ooh, that's hot. And this one here. Huh, crazy. But this seems to work, this is a bona fide homemade Tiki torch for light purposes. And they are working very well. Another invention from Bones here in Bones Yard. I ain't seen this on YouTube. Man Line come up with the idea. And I have not shot that video yet. I don't think he has either. But uh, I bona fide it for rainproof re reasons and windproof reasons, and it works. So there you have it, folks. The bona fide Tiki Torch. Turnout. Excellent. Cheap, cheap, cheap. Bones. Bones yard. Oh, let me get a close up on that one. I'll find this button.